Hi, my name is Randy Cobb. Today we're going to show you how to install the 2500-gallon modular underground tank system. The 2500-gallon system is built up of the uh, triple modules, and the tri each triple module handles about 91 gallons of water. So we're going to be putting 28 of these in the tank, and uh, all in all, we're going to come up with just over 2,500 gallons. All right, the rain tank system we're installing is consisting of a uh, large plates like this one and a small plates like these. There's nothing tricky about it. The plates are all the same. You can position the plates a little differently. The ones we're doing today for H20 loading, we're just going to use four small plates to support the load. If we had a heavy load, like for trucks or something like that, we would use five plates. One here, one there, one there, one there, and one here. You'll see that there's extra sets of holes. But if you evenly space the four plates, you can have what you need. Cool. We've got our hole has been excavated and we've got our gravel base down there. They've actually compacted and smoothed it out so that we've got our tolerances right for the bottom of the, uh, the, the geotech. So after this, we're going to lay our geotech down, put our liner down, and then we're going to put our tanks in we're going to cover it up. A second layer of geotech is placed in the bottom of the hole between the liner and the tank modules for added protection. All right, I've got a model here to help demonstrate how we're going to wrap the tank system up with the liner in order to keep things watertight. Uh, first, we've excavated our hole and we've laid down a layer of geotextile fabric that helps protect the liner from the soil that's below it and on the backfill and the sides. And then uh, once we've got that, that, the, the liner installed, we're laying a small piece of geotextile down at the bottom of the hole in order to protect the liner from the installed tanks. We install our tanks down into the hole, we center it up on that geotech, and then we begin to wrap it. And what we're going to do is start by folding the long direction up over the sides of the tank. We're going to pull it up like this until it's tight, and then we're just going to take tape. In your case, it's going to be duct tape. And you just tape it to the top of the tank. You do the same thing with the opposite side, I'm pulling it in. One of the important things about this is trying to keep these wrinkles out of it. You'll see why later on, but uh, in order to keep it watertight, we have to keep these wrinkles out. When you do the ends, all that's really necessary is to get your folds pretty close and pull them up over the tank. But what's necessary, what's important is that uh, when we fold this, if we fold it up like a present and just wrap it up like this and, and pull it up, what happens is water can, is going to leak out at these low spots and we're going to end up having a leaky tank. Can't have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up best we can, pull it up on, side, up on top of the tank like this, and then we're going to reach inside and we're going to pull all of this excess material up on top of the tank. And once we've got it all nicely folded and all that slack taken out, you can actually go back and cut some of the material off the top, try and get rid of it, make it easier to work with. But for now, we're going to secure that in place. We're going to do the, the same thing on this other corner over here, pulling the material back up inside. Now, obviously, this is a model. In, re in real life, this is going to take some time uh, because you're talking about some very heavy uh, liner material and a very large box. So now that we have it uh, folded up in place, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some adhesive. And uh, the adhesive you're going to get is going to be used on top of this edge, on top of this edge, here on top of the, the liners. You'll let it dry for about a minute or so, and you'll lay it back over here and seal it. Of course, you'll seal all these edges around here with that adhesive cement, and you're going to do the same on both sides. Once this side is good and secure and sealed up, then we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing on this other side, fold it back over, seal the edges here, and seal along this final stop, the strip up here to complete your complete tank installation. After this, we'll use the boots to secure our uh, uh, various fittings, you know, the inlets and the outlets and the, uh, the tank well. So uh, we'll get back to you a little bit and give you a little more information. So now when you're sealing the edges, what you do is you just fold that top layer back a little bit and you go ahead and lay your glue on both the outside and the inside. You let them dry for a few minutes, fold them back over, put some pressure on there, seal up perfect for you. Okay, 
Okay, the inlets and the outlets on the tank, they're uh, going to happen through a boot like this. We'll ship you these boots. It comes with 4 inch, 6 inch, and 8 inch. This happens to be a 4 inch boot, but uh, it basically it's a piece of PVC and it's got a tube through it. What we'll do is we'll stick your 4 inch, 6 inch, whichever size pipe you have, you slide it in there, you'll push it in until it's good and tight. And then we're going to carve the end off, we're going to put a hose clamp around it, and then when it sits on the tank, we're going to seal this whole edge to the tank. The tank remains watertight. All right, we got about six hours into it now. We've got uh, the liners all wrapped around. We're wrapping the geotech around the liner. We're gonna go ahead and secure that. We're gonna go ahead and backfill it. And as we backfill it, we're gonna go ahead and pack down all that dirt around the tank so it holds the tank together. Uh, and then uh, when we get up about 12 inches above, we're gonna go ahead and lay our geogrid down. Now your system might not need the geogrid, but in this case, we're gonna make it H20 loading. So we're gonna go ahead and add that on top of it. Now, here's one of our inlet and outlets. Okay, this happens to be a four inch inlet. Uh, and this is where we're going to bring the water in. It's tied into that boot below and then it's also got like a stainless steel hose clamp around it that keeps it sealed. 